Hey guys, uh, today I'll be showing you a couple of very interesting CSRF vulnerabilities, uh, which is part of WebCode 8, right? So let me start by creating a new user on WebCode. Right? Let me create a user called Tom2018, all right? And uh, the password, let me give a pretty simple password. All right, and let me create the user. Great, so we have created new user and as you see over here right so we will go down to the CSR of vulnerabilities so you can go down to request forgeries down here on the left side and you can click on the lesson right so this is a new way of web code where they have uh, you know lessons which means you you can learn about the vulnerability and then you know go about uh, you know with your capture the flags right so let me uh, go down to the first challenge which we have here is this one right so if you read they are telling us trigger the form below from an external source while logged in okay the response a will include a flag great so let's try to solve this okay so I'll be using a burp suit for this okay so uh, let me see where my burp suit is yeah my burp suit is up let me turn on my proxy okay and uh, let me turn on the intercept so let's see what happens when you actually click on you know the submit query so when you actually click on the submit query you see this is this is a request which actually is a get request which goes to the server and uh, the whole idea of this particular uh, challenges we need to you know uh, click on this particular or we need to create this request from outside the domain from from outside the web code right we have to do it externally so as an attacker we need to you know somehow uh, click on this button or send the request but outside this particular tab so how do we do that um, in um, Burp said, I think you pretty much know that we have very interesting tools, right? So let me go down and use one of them. So engagement tools, right? We can actually create a POC for CSRF using this. Wonderful. So let me do that now. Let me copy this. Okay. And uh, let me go down and uh, you know, paste it down here. Everything looks good. We have everything up here so this is a basically a very simple HTML form all right so let's probably save this okay wonderful so let me um, you know forward this and um, you know turn off the intercept so now what we'll do is we are basically so as you see here we got a you know false and the reason was because we we triggered this CSRF from within the site, right? We clicked on this. That is not something how you are supposed to do. As per the challenge, you are supposed to do it externally. Like you, you need to have an external source and from there you need to submit the query. So what we are going to do is we are going to, you know, pull up the HTML file which I just now created. Let's open it, right? Let's open this file. Wonderful. Um, let me turn off the proxy. I don't require it anymore. Okay, let us look at the network. Wonderful, right? So we have everything here. Let's go and submit the button. And there you go. We got a success, right? So the message says, congratulations. Appears you have, you, you made the request from a separate host. Perfect. Let me just take this flag and paste it down here. And there you go. We have got a answer which is perfect great let's move on to the next piece okay so um, as per this particular challenge you're supposed to actually post a review so this is like a very um, simple review site so you need to post a review you know but you know um, as an attacker right so if you post a review right from here um, that won't work that won't be the solution so we can quickly check right so what we'll do now is um, Let's look at the request. Let's just post something. Let's just say, 
add a review which is let's say awesome okay let's just type awesome here and uh, this is for the number of stars like let's give five stars okay so as you see when i submit this we get a post request here on the right side right so let's look at the headers right so you can see that this is the endpoint right so we have an endpoint here and uh, it's a post request what else can you make out of this um, we let's see let's see the parameters right so we have like uh, these are the two parameters which I actually mentioned down here so one of them is you know this text field which is basically going as the review text and the other one is the star there is also something called as validate request but I'm pretty sure this is a very static value so we can reuse it again in our CSR of attack okay and if you look at the response we have got it as false or this it wasn't a success because we we didn't actually do a CSRF we, we actually you know um, created or generated the request within the site right so we will go back and uh, make this right so we will go down here as earlier let's um, probably remove all of this let's just keep uh, um, okay let's yeah let's remove this piece great so let's create uh, a form here okay let's create a form uh, we need to have an action for the form right the action basically is we need to find this endpoint right so let's take this endpoint wonderful let's take the endpoint here and uh, let's define the method okay the method is basically post maybe the encode type as well right the encode type is again something which you can see here right the request in the request headers we have something called as content type right so this is something which is uh, uh, we need to use this right let's take that great now what we'll do is we have to define the parameters right so let's go with the input name equals uh, what was the name we have like three parameters here review text stars and validate request right so let's uh, you know, do that okay this is one um, let's actually use a value for this the value could be anything okay. yeah so let's say great and uh, type let's just define a type and let's make this field hidden okay so that you know the victim basically doesn't know that he's actually being redirected or he's basically uh, you know clicking on a malicious website right so that was one of the field similarly let me create two more fields right quickly there you go we have like two more fields here okay and then we will obviously need the submit button right because without submit it wouldn't work okay uh, looks good right just to go over it these are the three fields okay um, we have an input name and uh, uh, we have uh, we have okay let's let's probably yeah okay that's that works okay that works so we have like three fields one is a review text the third one being the second one being the stars and the third one is the valid date request um have i missed out on anything does it look good uh, okay i think i missed out a bracket down here that's why it was giving weird error let's save this okay let's uh, okay let's close the form which i had not done my bad okay looks good now save this and uh, let's go down here just like earlier let's refresh this okay let's refresh this wonderful so just to review we are basically trying to submit a review on this page okay but we are trying to externally do it not from within the page so let me do a submit here and as you can see we have got a status 200 which looks good and let's look at the response yep the response looks good so they are saying the feedback it appears you have correctly you have submitted correctly from another site 
okay now if you go and reload our earlier site we need to see the you know we will be able to see yeah so whatever we posted has successfully come here and you will get a green flag here saying that you have successfully finished this particular lesson right let's go to the next one right so it's a very interesting uh, CSRF attack here so here we are trying to do a post to our endpoint but uh, uh, we need to post JSON data okay so now let's look at how the request would look like right so I have filled up some information here and uh, let me select something and I'm just posting a message hello right so let's clear this and let's send this message so you see we see a post request here and um, if you notice the content type is basically application JSON here okay now if I have to you know invoke this particular post request from outside this domain let's say I am on a attacker website called as www.evil.com and from there if I have to ignite or if I have to invoke a request which would basically send a message right uh, automatically then I would have to use XML HTTP request right the API with the, the content type being application JSON now if you look a little more deeper uh, into the developers uh, guides Mozilla developer guide um, and if you read a little more about XML HTTP request you know that uh, this particular API is um, uh, ruled by cores right and uh, it it basically says that if you are using a post request with the content types which are not one of these three right um, in our case it is application JSON so if you're using a post with with the content types which is not one of these three then you know it is no longer a simple request if you're using post with one of these da three data types it is a simple request now if you're not using one of these data type then it is basically considered as a pre frighted request right and uh, you really don't want to do pre frighted request because if you do a pre frighted request um, there's like additional checks which are done by the server to check if you really have the authority to do um, you know to do a post request on to the victim server so you should always think about you know avoiding the pre flighted you know request so now <coughs> um, what we have to do for this attack to be successful is that we need to somehow create a post request which would send JSON data but at the same time we can't use the content type which is application JSON so we have to use something different right so we have to use one of these three which we saw here right we we, we can use uh, uh, one of these three where is this okay so I think I missed that okay here so we have to use one of these three so we'll be using text plain all right so I'll just pull up the payload which I created for this yeah so here it is so this is the payload so let me explain what it is okay so like in the earlier case we have a endpoint we are doing a post and the encoding type is not application JSON all right so let's remove this this won't work so like I told you we need to pick up this particular okay encoding type okay this will work now uh, let me go to the next line which is very important so what you have done here is if you look at this particular input type it looks very weird right but there is a reason behind it right so what we are trying to do we are trying to mask JSON data as text data okay hence we have to use um, you know a, a format which I have built here right so this is basically obfuscation so I'm using uh, uh, you know the parameters which I have to actually send so if you look at here these are the parameters see these are the parameters or basically you can look at the problem statement as well we have to send like three parameters name email and content and hence we have those three parameters here right content now I have put a dummy parameter called as ignore me over here and you will actually know what why I have done that when I send the request okay so I'll explain that later so we have a submit button as well and yeah that's it 
right now let's see if this works okay let me save this and like earlier let me pull up uh, this file okay there you go so let me also pull up my networks tab wonderful so let's see if this works let's do a request and there you go we have received lesson completed is true congratulations you have found the correct solution right now let me tell you why I did that with the parameter why did I actually put a dummy parameter over here right so now if you look at the parameters here if you see what happens is um, you know the browser basically parses whenever it's a form data the browser basically parses for parameters right normally if you look you have parameters uh, it's like a key value pair right you have name which is defining the parameter and then you have a value corresponding to it right so but in case of JSON it is slightly different right so um, and that's the reason why we have done this right so if you look carefully we we are basically trying to confuse the browser into thinking that whole of this right right from here to here whole of this is basically the name of the parameter right so once that is done then we are telling the browser that uh, the whole of this is basically the value and uh, you know that's why it appears that way here right so the browser basically thinks that whole of this is the parameter and this is the value but at the end of the day we are basically able to achieve our goal that is uh, you know convert all of the um, form parameters into uh, convert the JSON content type into you know text plain content type which is accepted by our server right now just to check if what we have done is right let's pull up uh, this flag right and let's check if it is right let's paste the flag here and there you go we have got the right answer all right that's good